Hey, Ant Hodges here. If you're an Infusionsoft user, if you're using stuff like Active Campaign and things like this, and you make a transition into this newish platform that everybody's talking about, yep, Kajabi. How do you go about tagging all of your contacts and how do you go about tagging people in the right way with regards to setting up actions and things like this? Well, in this video, let me share with you the secret source of Kajabi. And this is the need to not have to tag your contacts and your records after every action. Let me dive over to the computer and let me share with you the special secret source about Kajabi automations. I'm here inside a brand new Kajabi website. Over on the left hand side, you'll see that there are four menu options, website, products, marketing, and people. The secret source that we're going to talk about is inside the marketing tab under automations. Now automations is a great way to automate your business, to systematize it, to make sure that stuff happens when other stuff happens. And typically with platforms such as Infusionsoft, you would do this by setting goals within campaigns that trigger certain activity. But also in terms of managing people, managing people is often down to tagging and things like this. In terms of the people tab, we do not have to do this anymore because of certain filters. So in terms of automations, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here for new automation. And then it will basically ask you when something happens, then do something else. So we can have a look in here at some of the options that are available. We can basically have assessments. We can put up an assessment and when an assessment is completed, it will trigger an activity. Certainly we can still tag people when a tag is added or removed, when an email broadcast is opened, when a link in an email broadcast is clicked. So you can actually say, send an email broadcast, but when they click this specific link in this broadcast, then do something else. When an email sequence is completed, so if you set up like a nurture sequence of emails of maybe 10 emails over three months, when that sequence is completed, you can do something else. When a sequence is email is sent, when it is opened, when it is clicked. So in that sequence of 10 emails, you can say, well, when email three is sent, opened or clicked on, then do something else. So you can get really um, into the nitty gritty of automations by doing that. You can set up events on Kajabi. So when somebody registers to an event, you can set up an automation. When a form is submitted. But here you can also say when a person has been in, inactive for 7, 30, 60 or 90 days. So if you have a membership and people haven't been logging in for a period of time, you can send them kind of reminder emails to log in to make sure that they get on jump on calls, all of those kind of things. Offers, when an offer is purchased, granted when a payment is successful, when a payment fails, when a subscription payment is cancelled, you can set automations. So these could be customer service based emails. These could be helpful reminder emails. And obviously when a post is completed and what that is inside of your online courses or your trainings, if someone completes a particular lesson, you can set an automation. So let's just say, for instance, when an email, when a form has been submitted, it will ask me to select the forms because this is a brand new site. I've got a default form. So if for instance, you've created multiple forms in your website, then this list would be here and you could do a search for it, but I'm just going to click deep default form in terms of the actions. Now I can grant an offer or I can revoke an offer. So for instance, if someone's payment had been canceled, I could choose to revoke an offer that has been granted. So if it's a subscription membership, for instance, which gives them access to products, I can revoke that offer, therefore removing their access to product. Also, if, for instance, they've completed a particular a lesson or a, pati a particular training a lesson in your training. And then as a bonus, as a thank you, you want to then say, well done for completing this particular post, this particular lesson. I've just granted you something else. You can grant them some more training inside your membership area, as an example. I could, when that form has been submitted, subscribe someone to an email sequence or unsubscribe them from a previous sequence. So in this case, if I was doing a nurture sequence and somebody opted in, then I would be able to send them 
a sequence of emails. If, for instance, during that sequence of emails, I had a link through to maybe an application form to become a client or an inquiry form, that first initial sequence was a sequence of emails to try and get them to buy. I could actually unsubscribe them from that first sequence when they submit the secondary form. I can register them to an event, deregister them from an event, add tags, remove tags, send a single email, or send a single use coupon to be used on a particular offer. Let's just take send an email as an example. When I click send an email, I can send an email to the person or a member of my team. So I can put an email address in here. I can choose the subject and obviously write the email. I can personalize that email with any of the data that I hold on that person. And obviously I can set that to save. And once that's saved, that is an automation that's set up. So automations are hugely powerful. Yesterday, in different systems, we would be able to tag people based on activity, which could then trigger other activity. The activity itself can now be the trigger, and we don't need to get lost in tagging conventions all over the place. One of the things that we can also look at within our people tab within Kajabi, once I'm in here, what I can do is I can set up segments. So these segments at the top that are default in terms of all contacts, members would show paying members of products. Subscribed are those people who've ticked the box to say or clicked to say that they confirm to receive marketing subscriptions. We have inactive people and bounced people. But what we can also do is we can set filters within here that enable us to create multiple other segments. So you can see there's lots of options within here. And typically, this was only available when we wanted to tag people and then we'd filter based on tags. If we can basically say, one of the things that I want to do is can, to segment all of the people who've submitted a particular inquiry form, I could come down here and so go to form filters, submitted any of these forms, find my form, and hit apply. That's given me that. Obviously, I don't have anyone in there at the moment, but I can click this save segment. And if I could spell things correctly, <laughs> I could set up a submitted lead capture form. That now appears as a custom segment underneath here. So I don't have to go through that filter process again. I can just click that. I've got my list of people and then I can choose an action that I want to do from there. Obviously, there's so many other filters that we can choose in here. So for instance, when contact is, if a contact is subscribed, a member, hidden, bounce, delivery. If a contact is added in the list, added before, added in the last. So for instance, I could say 60 days. So I could see how many people were added in the last 60 days. If I wanted to, I could say how many people were added in the last seven days and click apply. But also, I can then choose a secondary filter to say submitted any of these forms, choose my form and apply. And I've applied a secondary filter. So I can basically say multiple things to be able to create segments and then I can click save segment. This is the need to not tag. And this is the power of something like Kajabi now, where yesterday everything was done on tags and how we're gonna tag our customers. All of these custom segments that we can create are then available when we're doing email marketing, when we wanna send a broadcast, we can send a broadcast to a specific segment. These segments are also dynamic and that is the most important thing to remember. If we set these segments up right, these dynamic segments will allow us to be able to just go in, have a look at the numbers, for instance, so we can click submitted lead capture form and we can see how many people have submitted that form because that's the segment that we've created. There is so much power in terms of the filters and automations within Kajabi. No longer do we have to go about setting up tags and coming up with tagging conventions. I've been Ant Hodges. I'm a bit of a Kajabi geek. If you've got any comments or questions, do add them below. I'd be more than happy to come in and help and assist wherever possible. I look forward to hopefully speaking with you again real soon. Bye for now.